Hey guys, it's Tracy. Welcome back to my channel. So today I have what I feel is a very exciting video. Um, I have been keeping my current reading journal in my wellness planner. So you can see this is my wellness planner with all my beautiful Jane's Agenda stuff. So just as a side note, I moved this November postcard to here to keep it a little bit better protected. Plus, I didn't want this to get scratched up either. So in any case, that's where that is. When you go to this last tab here, you'll see, um, this is where I have my reading journal. So let's make sure we're in frame here. Okay, so this page is a happy planner page um, that you can put pictures in. So I think these are like three by four and I think this is like six by four. So what I did was I put fall images of a beautiful owl, some books here with some tea and a candle and the leaves falling, a beautiful fall scene down here, uh, a beautiful fall scene down here, some adorable little deer and another book with uh, looks like either hot chocolate or coffee or tea, but outdoors, which I thought was absolutely beautiful. So I will be changing these pictures out every single uh, season. So this will stay in here until I change my cover to winter. Now, this is some scrapbook paper that I put back to back with uh, some of my plum paper paper um, up here, the reading journal, 2023, 2024. Um, these stickers are from Oh Hello Robin. So I have some left over from what I ordered from her. I will try to remember to link all those down below. Um, but she sent me some boxes. I had some scripts. Um, and then there were some that I already had on hand. So I used some of those as well. So reading journal 2023, 2024, technically I'm starting it in November. Um, so for November and December, it will stay in my wellness planner. I am considering for January, moving it to its own planner with its own calendar and just blank pages. So I might be either getting a happy plans and notes or a plum paper monthly calendar, uh, layout. So I'm going to see how that goes. I have not placed that order yet, so it's going to be one or the other. And then this for January through December of 2024 will go in there. But I will include these two months in here because where else am I going to put them? Now, I did order one of the books to read stickers from Planner Kate and I loved it. So I'm going to put another one here. My original goal from now until the end of 2024. So the two months now and then the 12 months is going to be 64 books. There are 32 books on these pages. So I originally plan to have these facing one another, but I'm going to leave this blank just in the event I end up going into a third sticker. So I'm going to order a couple of those when I do order from Planner Kate next, just because I fell in love with these shelves. I The imagery on that is beautiful. And I know Oh Hello Robin has beautiful um, like bookshelves you can, you can um, build yourself where you can put the book covers on it. But I'm going to show you how I'm using the book covers uh, myself. So again, I'm going to leave this blank. Um, until the end of 2024, uh, because this will be reserved for another books to read page if I need it. Now, this is my monthly stats of 2024. So, uh, January through December books, read pages turned. I will be putting the numbers in here. This is very similar to Oh Hello Robin's layout, which I really loved. So Robin, I stole your idea. Sorry. <laughs> But I thought it was so beautiful the way you had it laid out. So I did put the stickers down just a tad different, but it's the same type of gist and I really love it. I think that's going to be a really nice to be able to look at it and just see it. Now, the other thing I did is because I'm still reading for November and December, I took some of the extra months I had on hand and then the reading tracker in a 2023 and I decorated this for the two months. Here, I'm going to be putting favorite characters. Here I'm going to be putting authors read. This originally said books read, but I cut off the books and put down authors read because I want to keep track of what authors I'll be reading. This is going to be for my favorite quotes. So both of these pages are going to be for that. And I love that idea because I always end up finding quotes that just amuse me. So that's what this is going to be. Then I taped, um, this is a dot grid page and then this is a line page. I taped those two together. So then this is going to be my TBR. So I'm going to keep track of that here, but I also have another page reserved for it if I need to. Now, you'll see here this says 2022. These books are not going to count for any of the stats. Let me say that up front. The reason I have these in here is because 
Um, some of the books that I am reading in this year relate back to books I started in 2022. Now, these were all finished, but I wanted to make sure I had kind of like a little synopsis of what the book was about and how much I liked it. Plus, then too, I have the covers down here. So if I look at it and go, gee, did I read this one? Now I know. So I'm keeping the 2022 ones in here. I think there's like eight of them or something, but they are not going to be counted for the stats in 2023 or 2024. This is just for reference for me. So there was Eggs in Purgatory, Eggs Benedict Arnold, both by Laura Childs, Bedeviled Eggs, Hooked on Murder by Betty Hechtman, which I'm reading one of the current ones of, Bleeding Hearts by Susan Wittig Albert, along with Spanish Dagger. I love her books. Um, Steak and Eggs by Laura Childs, Dead Bent Don't Crochet by Betty Hechtman. I am still currently in the process of reading American Sniper. This is an amazing book. I guarantee it's going to be a five-star read for me. This is the um, autobiography of Chris Kyle. If you've ever seen the movie American Sniper, it's incredible. The book, of course, is even better. It's all in his own words. Um, and then this is the memorial edition where it's got all... Um, all of the thoughts from many of his team members uh, and, and whatnot at the back of the book. So I look forward to it. This is a really big, thick book. It's probably like this thick. So this is something that I will be reading in between these other like sort of lighthearted books. I am a cozy mystery addict at heart. So that's what I kind of stick with. But every now and then I like to keep one of these kind of running on the side. So American Sniper probably won't be finished. Uh, it'll probably be finished maybe in November or December. But this is going to be uh, here. So I have the information. But I guarantee that's going to end up being a five-star read. It's fantastic. So I am going to count that for 2023. And that's where this latest one that I just read, The Secret Book in Scone Society by Ellery Adams. It's the first in that same society um, uh, series. Really, really good book. Five-star read for me. Loved that. And then this is where I'm going to keep track of the ones from there. The current book that I am reading from the library is The Crochet Mystery by Betty Hechtman. This is the third in the series by Hook or by Crook. If you guys like cozy mysteries, this is fantastic. I love this. So um, highly recommend her series. Um, now, if I, and I let's just say not if, but when I do decide uh, about a planner, I'm probably going to go with a monthly, which like I said, either would be the happy plans and notes or the Plum Paper Monthly. Now, Plum Paper will be going on sale here. They're going to be having a um, two different Black Friday sales during November. So chances are that's probably what it would be. But let's just say when, for the sake of argument, when I do that, then these things would then get transferred over in January. I plan on leaving this all as it is until the start of January. So as I do more book reviews, those will go in this section. I have a tab here. And then I have a section book series by author. About a year ago, maybe maybe even now two years ago, year and a half, I made these pages for the back of my Happy Planner book journal. I got them out. I trimmed them down so they would fit in here. The edge this way, I didn't have to trim, but I had to trim about a quarter inch off the top and the bottom. But this has all the series. Now, I read all of these before. So this is where I started again in like 2022. I will be reading Nightshade in 2023. But I have all of these books on here. And as there's additions, I can either add them or, um, you know, continue to put new series in here. But there's a whole bunch. So let's see. Let's go back for a second. So this one is, of course, Susan, Susan Wittig Albert. David Baldacci, who is another favorite of mine. Ellen Byron, she has hilarious books. Uh, the Cajun Country Mysteries, those are so fun. Victoria Gilbert, Leslie Karst, hers are really good. Uh, Lee Child, I've read all of these up to Blue Moon. I have not read the newer ones. I kind of lost my way on those. I was addicted. I think the first like several books I read like literally in a couple weeks. I could not put those books down and I could not get them in from my library fast enough. I love these books. So I will at some point pick back up, which is why it's in here. Diane Capri does the Hunt for Reacher series, which is played off of these books. Um, I read the first one and loved it, but then again, I never picked back up. So I hope to read those. So maybe after I finish these, I'll get back into these again. I would probably reread that because it's been a while. Um, so I want to make sure I remember what I'm reading. Again, now here are the Laura Childs books. Um, there's the Cackleberry Club series, which is what I'm on now. There's the scrapbooking mysteries, and then there's the tea shop mysteries. So those are all really good. 
Sarah Fox, I want to try. I've never tried reading her before. Joy Avon uh, in Peppermint Peril, I read uh, a few years back, and that was really, really good. So I'd like to read those. Uh, Betty Hechtman, this is the series I'm currently working on. Um, Lisa Gardner, these are amazing. I would probably consider rereading all of those because they were so good. Um, and then finish up. Uh, Kate Kingsbury is an author I've never read, but I've heard good things. So those are here. Joanne Fluke, I have read a couple of her books I never marked them down because they were just kind of random. You know, I'd pick it up just to kind of give myself a break from other things I was reading. This is crinkled here. I just noticed, but that's okay. Um, but I'd like to read those. So I have the list. You can see I actually already added on to that. So that's going to be fun. Robert Parker. These books are so good, guys. I've read a couple of these. I can't remember where I stopped. So I will start over. Now, after 2010, I believe he passed away, if I'm not mistaken, and somebody else has been writing the books. I want to read the originals because I think I got through Stone Cold, maybe. But these were all amazing. So I will reread that series. Uh, Lori Robert, Roberts Herbst. I've not read her. I heard it's good. ACF Bookins. There's a couple of different series here. There's the Poe Baxter, St. Marin's, and then um, the Stitches and Crime series. B.A. Trimmer. Um, I want to try reading because one of the characters is a Rottweiler, which I can't wait. I've had a couple of Rottweilers. They're amazing dogs. I currently have a Doberman Hound mix who's amazing. We usually have bigger dogs. We've had um, a Lab and Rottweiler mix. We've had two Rottweilers, a Doberman, and then, of course, now our Doberman Hound, who is incredible. I've heard fun things about these Aloha Lagoon mysteries. They are different authors, which is why um, they're not listed, but I want to try reading those. And then this is, uh, of course, new in here. Ellery Adams, this is the new series I just started. I really enjoyed this. I read, I think it was called Peach Pies and Alibis or something by her when I was trying to get into a book club and trying to get back into reading. And I really loved it. And then I saw this and decided to start with this series first. These, I love Chinese food, so I thought these would be hilarious to try. Um, looks like I can get them on audiobook through my Libby app, which I'm super excited for. So um, my current... Yorkville Public Library receipt is here. Um, so that's kind of where I'm at, guys. And, you know, I'm super, super duper excited about it. For now, and I also want to show you one last thing. For now, what I'm going to be doing is marking my books in this calendar for November and December. Again, once the new uh, planner is chosen and arrives, then... And, you know, all that other stuff will move out and then I will be using that calendar separately because I kind of have really been taking my fitness a little bit more seriously, you know, my eating routine. Um, and while this all falls under personal and, and you know, self-improvement, uh, I feel a, a book journal separate would be good. I don't consider it another planner, um, but I would be able to better track like, you know, when I pick things up from the library, when they have to go back, so on and so forth. So I think that's a better idea. I'm down a couple pounds, which is great. Um, but yeah, I really love this. And so let me just say this. Let me go to this section here. So let me just say this. Speaking of Oh Hello Robin, Robin and I, uh, I approached her because I, I want to have more accountability for my reading. I picked it up in the beginning of 2022 and then I just, it dropped right off. You can see obviously with the, the few books I read. Um, so let's see, two, four, six. Yeah, so eight, I was right. So I read eight books, but then that was it. So I want to have more accountability. So I approached Robin and asked her if she would be interested in doing a collaboration where we kind of, you know, once a month go over what we've read and, um, you know, link each other's videos. But it kind of keeps us both accountable and it keeps me a little bit more engaged. So I'm really looking forward to this. I'm really thrilled that I was able to use these great stickers from her. Um, you know, she did give me some extras, but these are many of these are what I purchased on my own. Uh, so again, I will link her shop down below. I will also link her YouTube video down below. Um, because to my understanding, she's going to be doing a matching video for the same day. So as soon as I have that link, it will go down below in the description. But I'm super excited for this. I think that's going to keep us uh, both engaged and both accountable. Um, Robin has a very, you know, similar personality. And I think it's going to be so much fun to do this with someone um, rather than doing it on my own. So I'm very glad that I've set this up. I'm super excited to get started um, in the collaboration. But I'm even more excited to be back into reading. And guys, it feels so good. I mean, literally, let's see. I, I finished this one. 
Uh, I'm working on that other one right now. I've, I've read a few more pages in here. So I'm, I'm staying accountable and I love that. So I think that that is incredible. Um, the other thing here, let me show you. In my wellness section, I mark what's going on as well. So like in the calendar you saw, so that was um, on my tablet. I read The Secret Book and Scone Society. Um, I finished it by Friday. I did my library pickup on Thursday. Uh, I did start by Hooker by Crook Saturday. I did not really have a chance to read on Sunday and today is Tuesday. So I'm hoping to finish the book because there's maybe about a quarter of it left. So it should be done by today. Um, but you'll notice, like, I'm putting it in my personal section. That will probably still stay in my wellness calendar because, or in my wellness uh, pages, my daily pages, because you know what? Then it shows that I am doing something for myself. Um, I've, I've been able to stay more accountable by having this daily planner. I absolutely love this. I've actually been getting up earlier with the time change and going to bed earlier. It's fantastic. I forgot to write down what time I went to bed Sunday. Oh my goodness, I forgot to write down my bedtime most of those days. Shoot. Well, most of the time it was either 10, 30, 11. I'll have to think back and look at my other planner. Um, but yeah, I love this. And this is just a great thing. I am so encouraged. So today is Tuesday the 7th. I'm filming this today. I also earlier today filmed my Oh Hello Robin haul, which included some of these stickers, not these, these were already mine, but included some of these. So if you are seeing this video, um, you can go back. It should be a video or two before this. Um, for the Oh Hello Robin Hall. So we will be doing that collab collaboration together. I'm super excited for it. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, and I think it's going to be enjoyable for all of you guys too as well. So let me know down below. Are you doing a reading journal? Are you looking forward to starting one in 2024? Um, you know, what kind of books do you read? So uh, make any suggestions you have down below. And I will talk to you all in the next one, guys. Take care. Bye.